Uh huh. I know you see this. I know you see this. Yo, let's go, boy. Let's go. Um. Anyway. Commanders and Jacksonville. Commanders get the dub, 28 to 22. Hey, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz looks exactly like Carson Wentz should. Um, he had some great plays. He had some great first few drives. And then he had some awful plays. And then he has another few good drives. Um, this offense looked elite, though. Carson Wentz, 27 for 41. Yeah, I'm out of breath from that. Uh, okay. Carson Wentz, uh, 13, 313 yards, four touchdowns, and two interceptions on a Jacksonville defense who was young and developing, but, hey, often still looks pretty elite. Antonio Gibson getting some love again after looking like he was going to be taken over by... Um, Ryan Robinson. Um, Antonio Gibson, 14 for 58. Antonio Gibson gets some love again after lo potentially losing his job to Brian Robinson. I mean, we'll see when he comes back. But it's looking pretty good for him right now. Um, receiving, the ball went everywhere. Wentz looked good. Everyone receiving looked good. Antonio Gibson, 7 for 72. Terry McLaurin, 2 for 58 in a touchdown. Curtis Samuel, 8 for 55 in a touchdown. Jahan Dotson had two touchdowns. This is the Dotson they needed to draft. The other Dot, what was that other Dotson's name? Oh my God, what was his name when the team, this team was called something else? Was it Josh? Was it Josh Dotson? Yeah, he was trash. This is the Dotson we needed right here. This dude looked nice. First game in the league, two touchdowns, Jaguars defense, obviously nothing crazy, but. Look good. Logan Thomas was back, 3 for 45. J.D. McKissick also had 3 for 20 receiving. Look good. Curtis Samuel looked really good, too, in his first game back. All Out almost like all of last year, right? So, we'll see. This defense, this is the best team Carson Wentz has had in a long time, and I think they have they have some potential. They they could flop real hard. Especially if this dude, this, this dude needs to come back soon, or... I'm going to cry, but, you know, defense didn't look the worst, because but they also didn't look the best either against a Jaguars offense. Trevor Lawrence, 24 for 42, 275, and a touchdown and interception. James Robinson, looking like he should still be on this team, and they, like, why would you give up James Robinson? I, I don't get it. This dude was a stud his rookie year. Saw a decline in produ production last year because of uh, Mr. Meyer. Um, that's a whole other subject. Um, Godfather Urban. just He was just way too good of a coach. I guess he didn't know what he was doing and said it not to play Robinson too much. Um, but Robinson still is showing why he deserves to be here with 11 for 66 and a touchdown. ETN, everyone was high of him, of him in fantasy. Didn't show out today. Obviously, it's a long season, but only 4 for 47. And Christian Kirk, yeah, this is why they paid him. This is why they paid him the money, and they're going to use him because they paid him the money. Six for 117, granted no touchdowns, but that is some real good production from Christian Kirk. I don't know who was covering him, but come on, Washington. That's Christian Kirk. He's not the greatest. But he's pretty good. Zay Jones, okay. He, yeah, Zay Jones. Zay Jones. This dude was like fourth or fifth string on the Bills and the Raiders. Six for 65. Marvin Jones, four for 38. He's still a thing. Evan Ingram, decent showing. First game on the Jaguars, four for 28. Not too much outside of that. Um, yeah, this was, this was a pretty good game. This was, this shouldn't have been as close as it was. Commanders, they choked it. And then the Jaguars choked it. I think there's definitely some promise in the Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence still has, he's still has some bumps in the road, but he's looking, he looked a lot better. He was looking like that the last two games, like he did last year. I'm not making much sense. I hope you can follow along with this. It's my first video. I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah. Commanders get the dub. Hey, Cowboys got a loss. 
Wow. Okay, the Eagles were supposed to win, right? But the Giants and the Commanders both got to win. That leaves Cowboys at the bottom of the division. We'll get to that. But wow. Hey. Some promise. The next one. Giants at Titans. What? What? Giants get the dub. 21 to 20. They came back in that second half and they didn't look back. Um, Daniel Jones, 17 for 21. Pretty good. Pretty good game. Anyway, pretty good game from Daniel Jones. Uh, 188 yards, two touchdowns and an interception. Um, Saquon's back. Saquon is back. 18 for 164 in a touchdown. Saquon also had a clutch two-point conversion to seal this game. The Giants didn't look bad. They really didn't. I can't believe I'm saying that. Um... Receiving Sterling Shepard, 2 for 71, and a touchdown. R Richie James, 5 for 59, that's something. Kenny Galdi showing why he deserves that big contract, 2 for 22. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the Giants, they look decent, but I think the real, the real uh, story of this game is how awful are the Titans going to be? Tannehill, 20 for 33, 266, and two touchdowns. Actually, a really good game from Tannehill, I would say. Um, Derrick Henry, only uh, 21 carries for 82 yards. I think you would think that that's pretty good for any other running back, but that's not really that good for Derrick Henry. Only 3.9 average. Um, see, this is where it gets bad. Kyle Phillips, leading receiver for the team. Kyle Phillips, 6 for 66. Dontrell Hilliard had both touchdowns for the Titans, 3 for 61, 2 touchdowns. Traylon Burks had a pretty good debut, 3 for 55. And Robert Woods, only 1 for 13. Um, Titans are going to need a lot more production from their receivers and from even from Derrick Henry. I mean, Derrick Henry is, what, 28 years old? So they're probably going to rely on Dontrell Hilliard a lot more, but... I don't know where they went wrong in this game. They loved the two-point conversion, which ultimately is what led them to the loss. Um, but the Titans were still... They, they're still supposed to be a pretty decent... There's a wild card spot in the AFC for sure. Um, but they let the New York Giants beat them. This is a team who is supposed to be bottom of the NFL. This team is literally supposed to be probably the number one pick in the NFL draft. They are a bottom five team for sure, but Saquon Barkley led this team. If he's going to do what he did in 2018, we could see a pretty decent Giants team and a pretty decent Giants record. Um, they got to be careful. Saquon is very injury prone, as we all know, but hey, Giants get the win. Titans get the L. Do better, Titans. Saquon is that guy.